in my view is that we've had a wrong view of what quantum mechanics is really trying to tell us. So I think we've been stuck uh, with a number of interpretations that seem to me not very helpful when it comes to asking questions, what we should really be probing and what, what should we be experimenting? So on both counts, that's both co very controversial. Normally we think of technologies like quantum computing as being a derived a, a one-way approach where the fundamental uh, science leads to new technologies like quantum computing. But now you're suggesting that it can go in the reverse direction as well. And I think that's a controversial claim. Uh, as well as I, I think you used to say in the book that uh, although every experimental data or observation in cosmology supports general relativity and quantum mechanics is what, 10 digits in, in accuracy uh, yes. experiment, experiment to uh, theory. But you say that uh, even though all this is true, that the, their uh, supreme reign uh, as being the most fundamental may be coming to an end. So that's a pretty strong statement. Yes, and I thought it was worth communicating precisely that, as you say, when uh, if you look at many uh, debates uh, that people are having, uh, the feeling one gets is that somehow we are stuck. We haven't had a revolution for a long time. And the question is, what next? And I thought actually the picture that I'm getting from my own uh, research is, is, is very different. It, it feels much more exciting and it really does feel like we are on the brink of a, of, of a revolution.